In a moment, we'll dish out some timetables. I'd like to look at those, ensure that it's correct. The emotions are kind of all over the place when you come somewhere new. When you're doing something completely different, you've got a completely different routine and completely different people. I envy people that can just come in here and make friends just automatically, like snap. I can't really do that. It's crazy just to think that I'm going to be spending the next two years here somewhere completely different with nobody I know. Um, it's just scary. Seventeen-year-old Nicolette Esther is from Essex. She's one of 15 young people around the UK who began their year dot six months ago. Nicolette and the others have been living their lives online through short films, video diaries and blogs using the year dot website to help achieve their goals. The online community can follow Nicolette's progress throughout the year and help her adjust to boarding school by contacting her directly. My name's Nicola Esther, I'm 16 years old, um, I'm a young carer for my dad, but this year um, I've gone off to boarding school. My dad, he's got multiple sclerosis and can't do things for himself. OK, is that on quickly? I passed on um, all the care of him uh, into the hands of my sister. I made sure that she knew what she was doing and that she was prepared to take on the roles that I've always been in charge of. When I got my GCSE results, um, they were pretty good. I got two A stars, I got um, five A's and five B's. It meant that I could get into Thalstead, I got the grades that I needed to go there. Okay, bye bye. My mummy's hidden me a present in the house. <laughs> so I can go and find it when I get home. Uh, boarding school's really scary actually. Um, over the kind of last few days and everything, it's been settling in with um, new lessons, um, lots of new people to get used to. Makeup, as and when you wear it, it is subtle and almost imperceptible. Earrings, I don't want the great big dangly earrings and so on. I want you looking smart and businesslike for lessons. I do miss kind of being able to go home in the evening. It's quite strange just you know, being in a boarding house with a load of other girls that I don't know. And I'm just seeing if I can kind of fit in and find people to get along with and talk to. So, yeah, here it goes for the next few months. Um, now, the plan for today is that we're going to do the two poets that we haven't done yet over to this group who will start with their key poem. Please read it out and then start with an analysis of that one. It isn't privilege or pity that I seek. It isn't reverence or safety, quick happiness or purity, but the power to be what I am, a woman, charting my own futures, a woman. So this one, this poem is obviously a lot more to do with gender. And religion. And religion as well. So, I think so. that the settling in process for a new school like this, people kind of underestimate the time that it'll actually take you I'm still kind of trying to fit in now and do everything that I can to kind of just get to know the school. You know, you have your good days and you think, oh, you know, nothing can get in my way, nothing's stopping me, and I have loads of nice people and loads of friends. And other days you're feeling more homesick and you're feeling really down so it's obvious that your brain's gonna go oh I have no friends here and I'm I feel alone if you're trying to get away from any school related issue it's kind of quite difficult because you're always surrounded by the place you know no space to breathe and feeling a bit trapped 
which can be quite horrible. Actually, Clarity, I'm a studying at Oakland's College, a B-Tech course with football, and I play for Arsenal Ladies in England at the 19. It is very grueling, the schedule. And I'm confident that I can challenge for a place in Arsenal first team, um, but nothing's guaranteed. 17-year-old Jilly Flaherty's progress is also being charted on the Year Dot website. With the project well underway, Jilly's hoping she's on course to reach her ambitious goals. We're now halfway through year dot and a lot has happened since it started. Uh, in July, um, the under England and Arteens had the European Championships and, and I was really excited for, for this tournament because it was the first proper tournament, like the major tournament that I was going to be involved in with England. We had to win the Sweden game to go through to the semis and unfortunately I gave away a penalty and unfortunately we we didn't win the game, we drew 1-1 and we got sent home and I was really gutted and obviously I blamed myself for it and I just called my mate to come home to my family and friends and just to be, to be supported by them. Yeah, thank you. Hey there, Mr. Day. Yeah, I'm right. Got over it? Yeah. Alright, Bye, Dad. Nice to see you again. <laughs> At the start of the season, we had a Community Shield final against Everton. And for me, my main aim was to get into the starting 11 for that final. And uh, I done it. And we won 1-0, which was good. And it just felt to me like the hard work that, I, that I'd done in pre-season had paid off. <laughs> After the game, I, like the fans were asking for my autograph and that. And this, just, this did mean a lot. It shows a lot. Like when, when a fan comes up to you asking for their autograph, it, it, it just makes you feel like really good about yourself and it just shows that the hard work that people are putting in to raise the profile of this game is, is working, it's paying off. Jilly wants to raise awareness of women's football. It's a tough task, so it's time to hit the road. I'm just on my way to my secondary school at the moment um, to do a chat with a group of girls about women's football and basically I'm just trying to publicise it as much as I can. I just want to try and get um, as many girls interested in, in the game and hopefully after this maybe a few girls might sign up for local teams and like I did. I'm just going through my MySpace stuff and that and just catching up with um, some of the people that have messaged me. The support I've got from after the show has been, it's been good. One girl uh, messaged me, she just said that she's seen a few of my year dots um, it must be an amazing experience. Another girl messaged me saying, um, Hi, I saw you on year dot. Great, you made it into the ladies' first team. Good on you. It feels good when people have said that they've seen my shows and they've been seeing my year dots and that, because it makes me think that what I am doing is worthwhile and people are sitting up and paying attention and that. Good to see you. You're looking well. Yeah, you yourself. Come on, we'll go through. <laughs> I'm really excited about being back and hopefully the girls will be interested in what I've got to say. I'm very nervous at the moment. Um, probably not more nervous than when I actually go and play football. Well, girls, listen carefully. Today we've got Jilly with us and she's here to discuss and talk about women's football with me today. Well, um, girls, basically, I'm just here to promote women's football and just to promote the game that I love and that I give so much of my time to. Um, does anyone here play football, like, for a team outside of school? None of you play? So if I come to none of you, don't play for any other teams outside of school. Does any of you would like to go into football, like, when you're older? You'd like to go and play for England and, or your country and... You like to go play for big teams and be on telly and stuff like that, yeah? Have uh, any of you got any questions for me? How come is that the women don't earn as much as the men do? Obviously, 
you can't, I don't agree with people when they compare men's football and women's football because obviously men are going to be stronger, they're going to be fast and stuff like that. But that don't mean that women's footballers do not have the same passion and the same love for the game as what the men do. And I, that's why I believe that women's football does, does deserve more publicity and stuff because it don't mean that we're not as good as, say, obviously as the men are. <laughs> does anyone want to go for a kick about then? Yeah! I think Jilly, when she was speaking to the kids, was absolutely fantastic. And I think Jilly coming today has really opened up their eyes to what's available in terms of women's football. She's really into football, and I sort of thought that's how I want to be with football, because I do like it. Like, I'm not great, but I would like to be great. After seeing Jilly today, I've, I'm going to think about going to a girls' football team. Obviously, I was being nervous when I went in there, and um, I was like, worried about talking and that, but the girls, they, they seem to really take off for me and they seem to really listen as well, so I was just, just glad that it turned out good. Hopefully the girls will log on to my MySpace and check it out and hopefully they keep in contact with me. None of them play football outside of school, um, so I'm going to try and get them out, get them into outside clubs and obviously just, just give them advice and give them support and hopefully find clubs that they can go to. Nicolette's move to boarding school means she's having to get used to life away from her family. So with a free afternoon, she's leapt at the chance to pay a fleeting visit home. It's probably be mum. Yep, mum's here, so I can go home now. Yay! Oh, daddy is asleep. Dad hasn't been very well. He's been getting weaker, and every time I speak to Mum on the phone, I'm saying, oh, how's Dad? And she's saying, oh, you know, he's weak, and it just goes... It's basically the same story over and over again. You OK? How are you? Yeah? How are you? Mm. I heard you didn't have a very good night's sleep. It's really hard, and I know my mum and my sister are finding it really hard as well, but... You know, I just kind of, in a way, wish I was there to kind of support them and everything, but I know I can't be. How's Dad been? Good. It's weird, cos I always used to rely on her to do things for Dad, so now I have to just take more responsibility in everything around the home. My sister, she does have to think about Dad now more than she would have had to do before, but I think... She'll definitely learn from it and she'll be able to grow and develop like I have and hopefully one day she'll have the same confidence as I've kind of gained from it. Are you ready, Nicolette? Yeah. Let's go. OK, I'm coming. Having spent a few precious hours with her family, it's time for Nicolette to head back to Felstead. Yeah, I think so. Um, bye, Isabel. Bye. bye. See you later. Go home. Thank you. Go home. <laughs> Thanks. I've missed her and I think... To be honest, we've all missed her. Um, but, I mean, I've missed her quite a bit. <laughs> really have. Yep, OK, see you later, Dad. All right, see you later. OK, have a good week and everything, won't you? Yeah? Yeah. OK. I don't know, it's really strange. I know she's doing pretty well. And she's happy, quite happy, at the school. Bye. See you later, bye. She's fine. She's fine. So don't make me worried by telling me something else. You could be quiet or um, we could go on and on and on. I asked you last time uh, to make notes on Anthony Kenny and the steady state theory. Please. I did have really high hopes at the start of term and I guess to feel homesickness kind of, well, it just makes me think maybe I'm not 100% happy here. And the universe basically is created in a matter of nanoseconds. Felstead, everyone says, they talk about the Felstead bubble. You don't really get a lot of time to just sit back and think, oh, well, what's happening in the real world kind of thing, because you're kind of trapped in the kind of boarding school life. As part of Year Dot, Nicolette has the Year Dot website at her disposal. She's been using social networking to support her with the move away from her family. Year Dot has been the first time that I've ever kind of used the idea of blogging. 
It's been really interesting to actually get all my thoughts kind of in a week and put them all down and uh, kind of write down all my feelings and kind of emotions about everything that's been happening. I've just been able to be very honest with everything that's been going on and, you know, some people will see that and see that, ah, uh, maybe, you know, she's having a bit of a hard time. It's an opportunity to ask for advice on anything that I need to do, which is nice to be able to have in a way, and it's a personal way of expressing my emotions, but also asking for help on how I can improve my kind of situation. With my blogs, I try to be as open as I can and to, you know, put as much of um, myself and my emotions into what I'm writing, because I think that's the best way to kind of get the most out of your dot, is to just be really kind of quite open with what I say. Jilly's been selected for the England squad, taking part in the under-20s World Cup. Before travelling to the tournament in Chile, she's got one last night with her family. You're going all different parts of Chile. We have to we fly twice. Do you not see where she's staying? Oh, you're going to the capital. Play for your country is just, it's like the pinnacle of your, your football career. And for me, the World Cup to the... Uh, the, the best stage to play on. For me, it's the first time I've ever been involved in a massive tournament like this. This might be the only chance I ever get to play in a World Cup, so for me, I've got to grab this chance with, with both hands. You reckon you'll get to that far quarter-finals? Yeah. And then, yeah. I'd like to go all the way, but it's just so hard, isn't it? I'm really nervous about going away because, it, for me, it's a step up. It's, now I'm in the 20s, which is another year older than what I'm used to. I am nervous, and also it's a long time going away from home, which I'm... Um, not looking forward to. She's such a good girl, aren't you? I will miss my family a lot. I don't get to see them as much as it is, um, only coming home in the weekend. So for me to go away for three weeks, it will be hard. The semi-finals are the fourth, and the quarter-finals are the first. Oh, you come back. You're not going to the academy today. You're coming home here for a day. And then we'll take you to the academy. I'd rather come home on the Friday or... The Friday daytime, then to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no. and they're coming home, going back, coming home. Who would you say, us or them? <laughs> Be careful what you say here, Julie. <laughs> yeah, like right, cool. that's fine, so you're coming home here. Oh, it's going to be the longest that she's been away from home, so obviously it's hard enough when she's away in the academy for a week, let alone three to five weeks. You'll be fine. Aww. <laughs> All right? Go. Call me. I won't. Eat my mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't think about it. When I see you next, it'll be a couple of weeks till Christmas. Yeah, I'll have a nice turn. You look sharp. <laughs> see ya. I'm excited for her, but we're going to miss her a lot, you know. We only see her every, every, every weekend, and that could be, if things weren't well, five weeks. It's a long time. Um, we'll miss her greatly, but it's a very good thing for her, excellent thing for her. Come on. <laughs> well, they're all gone. They all want to wave to you. Quick, this wave. Here. Yeah. So see you in a few weeks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah. Back at Felstead, Nicolette decided that the best way to fit in is to get involved. Her ensemble part in the school production of Anything Goes could be just what's needed. You are still on this side of the stage, you're just standing in lines again. You've done exactly what I told you not to do. Don't step, spread, use the stage more. interesting to get involved with and I'm really um, really enjoyed kind of that part of school life you know I thought I'll oh, stuff it I might as well do something this year because um, I want to get involved uh, more heavily with next year's as soon as you hear it you've got to start moving you are very 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 late I know I've got like a really small part in it like really small but it's been interesting to get involved in um, and I've kind of enjoyed just being able to be there and to kind of take part in it all. 
I think I have changed quite a lot, whereas I always felt like a bit of, you know, the back of the crowd and people wouldn't have listened to me. You've got to fill space on the stage better. Secondly, girls, two-thirds of you are about half a beat behind on your routine. I guess being part of the chorus is kind of frustrating, not because it's a small part, but because you have to go to every rehearsal. But at the same time, I'm not going to take it for granted. Whatever sort of role you get in the play, it's nice to just be able to take part. Yeah, I get a kick out of you. The England women have been knocked out of the under 20s World Cup. Their early exit means that Jilly didn't get to play a single game. Back in London, the family have gathered to welcome her home. I'm really looking forward to seeing her. A bit hectic at the moment in here, but when she comes in, it'll be like, this will all go out the window. <laughs> looking for Jilly. Uh, since she's been away, she's been talking that she's missed everyone and she's been a bit tearful and she's really a homely girl, not a, you know, she's not, she likes her family around her. a lot of people when I was out obviously my family I missed a lot it was obviously I was just looking forward to the usual the usual things I do back home everyone seemed to be upset and that and like gutty sort of thing that I really like can't seem to get any further than the court final I was always hoping I'd get my chance but unfortunately I didn't play in any of the games um, but that's just football at the end of the day and it's not the first time it's happened to me like I, I'm on the bench for Arsenal so Sort of like expected it. Yeah, but you've done well. I think you, you've done well. Yeah, but well. the thing was as well, like, we don't, like, I think we've been lucky all tournament, to be fair. The way we played against Nigeria and the way we played against New Zealand, we shouldn't have got through the, we shouldn't have got through the group stages. Sitting at home and seeing Jilly miles away, um, I can't do nothing about it when she's frustrated. I'm not there, I can't put my arms around her. I can't say, you know, everyone keeps doubting you. I know you're good, everyone else knows you're good. You've got to prove everyone wrong. You know, your time will come. Back from the World Cup, um, the under 20s World Cup, which was in Chile. Um, but now I'm back, I really want to kickstart my appeal um, to get more girls involved in women's football. I want to be the link for you to go and get in touch with another club. Um, I have got contacts out there for local clubs and that. So I want you to get in touch with me. You can get in touch with me through my MySpace page or my Year Dot page. Um, and then I can help you out. I just want to give you the opportunities that I've been given. So please get in touch with me and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. The big night has finally arrived at Felstead Boarding School as Nicolette and the rest of the pupils prepare to put on their production of Anything Goes. Quick as you can then guys, don't rush. Just get, get yourselves quick because we've got to get in there fairly soon. Couple of minutes. It's really manic, but it's basically like the start of the and we're really running late about actually getting ready. So it's like a mad rush to get things done. And they just did the sailors chant, and then we've got um, friendship. friendship, and then the lovely. Yeah. But then it's anything goes. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's been a lot of rehearsing, hasn't it? I know, and we're not even like in it much. It's like Basically pointless. Every <laughs> 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 I'm kind of not meant to be in this scene. I'm going in. It was, we weren't meant to be. 
with you on. No. <laughs> so we were just like, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I just <laughs> added little comments in. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, might That's as well. Yeah. At least I'll get to say a line, which yeah. I don't in the actual play. Oh, so, there you go. So, yeah. Thank God. Do you think your girlfriend will marry you after this? I don't think she's not going to know, because I'm going to tell her. Number in a minute, and I need to go on. And um, it's been going really well, and just hope this one goes. So, yeah, it's the same. I've ever seen. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. Yeah! I think for the next show, I hope to get a bigger role. You know, give me even some lines to say, that would be nice. It's been really nice being in changing rooms with everyone and um, before going on and everything. I've really got to kind of know people better because they just like chat to kind of anyone who's there. I haven't had a big role or anything, but it's been really nice to be able to feel like I can fit in and get involved in such a big part of Felsa's life. Right, I've now come to the end of my first term at Felsted and it's been a bit of a journey. If you have any advice you'd like to give me about anything that you can see going on in my life, maybe to do with being away from home, or maybe you have a disabled relative and you've got some advice to give to me, then it would really be appreciated and I'd love to hear, you know, your story. So just get in contact with me through the year dot website or through MySpace or Facebook, whatever you like. And um, so bye for now. <laughs>